Hey guys, it's TJ Forsyth here, back again with another video. Um, thank you guys so much for all the support on the first video. Um, I had a great time answering questions, you know, talking cards with a lot of different people. Um, and like I said, thanks again for making the first video such a success. Um, today the video is going to be um, on a rare 1989-1990 um, NBA Hoops box break. This is this box is one of the most rare uh, boxes out there on the market today and I got it for a steal. Usually the box retails for about 35 when it first came out but um, those prices have skyrocketed up to around 200 but I found a box that was um, right here. All the packs are factory sealed. Um, the box was out of the original kind of you know wrapping but all the packs right here are serial numbered as you can see right there so they're authentic and i was really happy to find this so today we're going to have part one of the box break um here um hopefully i can find some michael jordan um signature cards that uh are in this pack also some rookie cards and then there's um david you know dave robson rookie um, Hakeem Olajuwon, Magic Johnson, stuff like that. So let's break into this one now. All right guys, now we're here. We're trying to break these boxes now. I'm gonna do part one now of the NBA Hoops 1989 to 1990 uh, box set here. I'm gonna do half now and then half later on this week. So this is part one of two. Um, I have about 15 packs here and my penny savers and my card savers here. So um, let's get right into it. We're focusing on really hoping that the luck is on our side to get these Michael Jordan cards, Magic Johnson, Hakeem, Dave Robertson, John Stockton, people like that. Um, all right, so let's get into it. These packs here, they're really hard to open and I don't wanna damage, I don't wanna damage them at all. We got Michael Williams, Joe Wolf, Dan Trayer, Paul Presley, Scott Brooks, Billy Thomas, Armand Gillian. Ooh, here's a good one. Scotty Pippen right here. That is going. Penny sleeve here. And then right into right into the card saver. Scotty Pippen, it's a good first pack card. All right, and we got Derek Harper, Otis Smith, Mark Price, Wayne Tisdale, Pinky, Alan Mobile, and then Jerry. Okay. So that was a good first pack, Scotty Pippen, that card. Um, is actually a high value one. So um, if I were to, let's say, just sell that card as itself, I would make probably $20, $25 off of it. Okay. Pack two. Oh, damn. Got the Carl Malone 89 All-Star card. So that's going in the pack. Yeah, in this box too, um, the reason why I got it was because when just looking online, um, people were getting crazy pulls in this. As you can tell, I've already gotten a Carl Malone All-Star card and Scottie Pippen card. 
go. Alright. So we got a Rick Smiths. Oh, another one. Spud Webb, that's a good card too. Now there are cards, like I said, that I'm, I'll throw usually right away into a penny sleeve and a card saver. Um, there are a lot of cards that I go over and review um, off camera when I do my research and all that stuff, just to see if there are any if there are any values um, in the cards that I just you know kind of toss to the side because some are sneaky and they do sell for let's say maybe five to 10 bucks just for the card. So, Fennis Dembo, Quentin Daly, uh, Wayne Cooper, Terry Cummings, Derek Smith, Kevin Edwards, Tim Perry, David Corzine, more than Wiley. Ooh, here's a good one. Uh, Manut Bowl, that's a good card. Got this one. Toss it right into the penny sleeve. Um, I'm still on the fence to what I want to do um, in regards to grading, because I don't know how long it's going to take for um, B, uh, not BGS, but PSA to get back um, to opening its doors. Um, SGC is on the come up right now. Um, I've always thought highly of them, um, but obviously we know that PSA is the dominant, the dominant brand. But if you do want to flip cards and stuff like that, man, this. If you do want to do quick flips, quick flips on cards, um, then I would recommend doing, you know, SGC because they are still open and even in the coronavirus. But Randall Keys, Rick Barry. Okay, so we've done two packs already, and we've already got four solid cards. So I'm feeling pretty good about this box. I found it for 35 bucks on eBay, which was, I was really surprised because the cards in here, um, there's about 30 to 40 cards in this set that are worth um, 35 plus as a PSA 7, which is crazy. Okay, so pack number three. All right. So we got Larry Smith. Paul Presley again, Scott Brooks, Thompson, another Scotty Pippen card, doubles. Hopefully I don't use up all my card savers in this video. <laughs> Even though they're actually, they're not too expensive, but. Daily coach card right here. Let me know. Let me know in the comments too. Um, I've heard coach cards. They do sell um, Chuck Daily card definitely will look on that because he, since he was one of the best coaches ever and then the last one is Greg Anderson here Larry Nance, Herb 
Mark Williams. Oh, hello. Ralph Sampson. Ron Harper. Another Harold, ooh, Harold Presley. Robert Parrish, that's a good one right there. I noticed too, a lot of the cards that were kind of in that, you know, 89, 90 time where the Lakers and Celtics played too. Um, high value, um, especially if they are, even the single cards have a high value, not if they're not graded or not. Um, it really doesn't matter in the value of the cards because a lot of times people will grade them themselves. Um, knowing the value of the cards helps in the long run, especially if you're trying to um, get them graded and or, you know, buying and selling cards. Robert Parrish is a good card. And we're gonna go over all these cards at the end of uh, part one, just in the recap. I'm trying not to take too much time going through these, but I'm really shocked because we're getting a lot of good cards. Buck Johnson, Steve Johnson, Isaiah Thomas card. I've been looking for this card too. There's also, you know, there's other packs and boxes that I was gonna get. Just like the, I was trying to find some, um, the Breaker Box Paninis last night. And you know, they were 10 bucks when they came out about or whatever. Um, and now they're up to in the 400, 500s per, per uh, box, which is crazy. Um, Frank, Frank Burkowski, don't know who that is. Chris Morris, Michael Gage, oh dang. Oh yeah, got the Stockton All-Star card. That's a great card too. As you can see, um, you know, this specific series, the Hoop series, um, right there it is. A lot of good pulls, a lot of good pulls. Um, you know, your, your odds are not as favorable in the newer boxes, but these older boxes, man, they um, have a lot of good cards. And I don't, I don't know if I really like card savers anymore. Um, they're very hard to get the card in. I like top loaders better, um, but obviously if you're a collector, um, they just look more professional than and the last two cards are just nobodies. So keep going here. And then two, um, let me know in the comments if you guys had any crazy pulls in this series or if you guys have a bunch of these cards um, in your collection. I have some cards, but I mean, I haven't really invested too heavily just because I knew these, these packs would have a huge pull rate. Sydney Lowe, Pat Cummings, Mark West, Bill Cartwright. Don't even know you. You even lab. <laughs> Steve Alford, Craig Elo. That's a good card. Danny Ainge, Mark Akers. Oh, I got it. Hallelujah. Hakeem Elijah Wan base card. This card is worth a lot of money. PSA 10. Nines are even crazy high. So I'll be saving saving this card for a rainy day. You know, and, and I wasn't gonna spend three, four hundred dollars on, on this box because people were selling it uh, for that much. People were selling it for that much, which I think is ridiculous. I would never spend that much on a box. Um, that's why when I saw this for 35, I jumped on it right away because I knew that there was gonna be some big, big pulls, a lot of cards with worth a lot of value. So Sam Bowie here, Kelvin Upshaw, Jay Vincent, John Bagley, Mar Marvin Bagley's dad, 
and then Derek McKee. All right, we're almost halfway through. These packs for part one. If I didn't want to do, I didn't really want to do um, the whole thing in you know one video because no one really wants to sit there and watch a 45 minute video even though we are in quarantine because of the coronavirus, but. Steve Coulter, Scott, S oh, Scott Skiles. Moses, Moses Malone, Hawks card. Good pick there too. Obviously this isn't worth as much as his older cards when he first, you know, started in the league, but just having that name too, this card will, you know, just sell for, sell for a pretty good amount um, just because of his name. But if you are looking for Moses Malone, go back um, in his cards in the 70s. Um, those got some high value, so that's what it looks like, Moses Malone. Okay, let's go back into it. John Smith, John Long, me. Charles Smith. Levette Lever, Sydney Moncrief. Another coach card. Rory Sparrow, Tom Chambers, John Paxson, Herb Williams, another Ralph Sampson card, another Ron Harper card, and then a Harold Presley card. So, got some doubles. Um, but I'm really happy with, you know, the cards that we got so far that, you know, are penny sleeve worthy. It's only about five, one, two, three, four, only six packs that we opened already and we already pulled some crazy cards. Alrighty. Ooh, James Worthy All-Star card. 89 All-Star, that's worth it. <laughs> A lot too. Um, this one has a little. This one has a little mark in the corner. Um, like I said, when I got the box, um, the box was pretty, pretty worn. Um, looked like it literally smelled and looked like it was in uh, a storage closet for 25 years. Um, but this is the first card that's I'm looking as a PSA like nine. All those other cards are in great condition. Great condition. James Worthy All-Star card. All right. Randy Buer, Bauer, Christian Welp, Pat Cummings, Mark West, Bill Cartwright, another U of Blab card, Steve Alford. Craig Elo, Danny Ainge as a double, another Hakeem Elijah one. Mark Akers, another Hakeem Elijah one. It looks like we're gonna be using all the penny sleeves and card savers today. <laughs> Just on cards alone because we're getting doubles and we get triples. Um, that'd be crazy too, but the cards that I really want are the Jordan cards. Um, these Jordan cards are have some of the highest in value. Um, there's. Like I said, these are tough to get in the saver sometimes. But if you do not hand them, you're good. You won't cause any damage on the cards or anything like that if you're careful um, and don't do any crazy kind of movement, just straight up and down, putting the card in. Another Sam Bowie. Kelvin Upshaw and Jay Vincent. Let's hope for a Michael Jordan card soon. All right. Uh, Jim Farmer, another Scotty Pippen card here. <laughs> Getting a lot of doubles and triples. This is the third Scotty Pippen card. And I wish, like, the only person I really care about doubles is Jordan in this series, and Hakeem, um, Elijah one, but I mean, Scotty Pippen too, you can also 
Um, you can also sell them in lots as well. Jordan and Scottie Pippen lots go for a lot on eBay, just cause you know they were probably the greatest um, tandem of all time. Derek Harper, Otis Smithingham, Mark Price, Wayne Tisdale, Ed Pinky, Alan Laville, Jerry, Chuck Daly, Greg Anderson, Willis Reed, Lister, Jose Ortiz, and then another no-namer. So thank you so much if you guys are still tuning in. Um, the first video did so well. Um, I was really happy to see that you guys enjoyed the content and just the feedback I was getting and just talking cards and and doing all that stuff too. So it was, it was refreshing as well. There's so many people in the hobby that are trying to make it grow as well. Randy, Randy Whitman, Michael Thomas, Frank Johnson, Terry Catledge, Dale Ellis All-Star Card, Bob Hansen, Chuck Pearson, John Novak, Dennis Rodman Piston card. Okay, that's a good card too. This is before Dennis Rodman got um, got in with Jordan. He was on um, those bad boys teams. Joe Wolf, Dan Shays, Paul Presley, Scott Brooks, Bill Thompson, and then another Armin Gilliam. But, okay, so we're down to the last stack. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more packs left. And we have a crazy amount of cards that we pulled in from this series already. Oh man. All right. Jim Farmer. Another little bit. Lever card, Sydney, Moncrief, Jim Anderson, Tom Chambers, John Paxson, Herb Williams. Third Ralph Sampson card, Ron Harper card, four of these. Oh, another Parish card right there. Hopefully, hopefully two. Um, the Irvin Johnson card with his name as Irvin, um, not Magic, is very valuable. And I'm hoping that that will be in this too. I'm surprised too, because these cards are in great condition. Great condition. Which makes me really happy with the other cards that are in the pack, the other 16. Buck Johnson, Steve Johnson, and another Isaiah Thomas. I have about probably a hundred cards that um, I'll probably have total um, just from the ones that I have now um, including and then including these and some other singles that I have um, that I'm gonna get graded with SGC um, just so I can flip them to um, I do have an eBay account where I am going to start posting cards but right now I'm just collecting so I'm just getting as many cards as I can um, that have high value and are worthy of being sold on eBay as well. Okay. So we got Detlef Shrimp, I don't know who that is. Another Manu Bowl, that's a great card too.
Yeah, I'm not really gonna show you guys doubles because we'll go over in the recap at the end. Um, Randall Keys, Rick Barry. Oh, there's a great card, Larry Bird card. Doubles are great, but I also want, you know, the full set, full set series. Uh, hopefully, um, hopefully too, there's a Magic Johnson card in this. That card right there, no. Let me know your guys' thoughts too. Do you guys like pack openings or do you guys prefer just buying the cards graded? Otis Thorpe. Mark Bryant and I got Jimmy Rogers and I got the card right here. David Robinson rookie card. One of the hardest cards to get in a pack in this series. A lot of people, a lot of people that I know that got this card they had to buy it off eBay. Um, they had to buy it off eBay, which the card on there, even PSA graded, this thing is worth crazy money. Alright, we got Joe Barry Carroll, Nick McMillan, Rex Chapman, Dick Harper, Sydney Green. Ooh. Cliff Levingston. Oh, another John Con Conkick card, and then another Dennis Rodman Rook, not Rook card, but Bad Boy Piston card. This is his, what is it right here? This is his third year in the NBA at this point, so his third year card. Yeah, his Spurs card has no value, which I was pretty, pretty surprised. His Piston and Bulls cards are a lot. We got Joe Wolf, Don Shays, Paul Presley, Scott Brooks, Billy Thompson, Armand Gilliam again. Another fourth Scotty Pippen card. Derek Harper, Otis Smith, Mark Price, Wayne Tisdale, I think you again. We're getting there, got one, two, three, four, five. Five left. Rick Mahorn. Put that over here. Frank Brzezikowski, Chris Morris, Nick Cage. Another John Stockton. Another John Stockton All Star card. David Hopin, Trent Tucker, ooh, new card, here we go. All right, got a Patrick Ewing All-Star now. So, Patrick Ewing All-Star card, that's a good find too.
And I, I was taking a big risk with this too because um, it was not factory sealed. Like the box, the packs were all factory sealed. No one searched them or did anything like that, but um, yeah. Usually, you know, you wanna get boxes that are factory sealed. But the packs looked incredible, so. That's why I went with them. David Rivers, Del Harris. No name, no name. And then another Rick Moore. Reggie Williams, oh yeah. Michael Jordan, all-star card. That is awesome. That is awesome. That's one of the cards that I was definitely hoping for. Sweet card. Tony Campbell, Phil Jackson coach card. I'll put that over in the signature pile. Daryl Walker, Alan English, John Stockton regular. Rick Otis, another Spud, another Spud web card. Daily, Wayne Cooper, Jerry Cummings, Derek Smith, and Kevin Edwards. Three more packs. Blair Rizman. Alan LaFeel, Jerry Sin, Chuck Daly, Greg Anderson, Willis Reed, Alan Lister, Joe Ortiz, Rick Kite, Larry Nance All-Star Card, Michael Thomas, Frank Johnson, Terry Catridge, and another Dale Ellis All-Star Card. Two more packs left. Hopefully we can pull a Jordan. Another Jordan, Ricky Pierce, Reggie Williams, another Ricky Pierce, Maurice Cheeks, John Sun, oops, Tyrone Corbin, Will Purdue, Ron Tapey, Larry Smith, Larry Nance, Kenny, Kenny Smith, Paxson, McCormick, and another Carl Malone, MVP. here let's hope for something crazy all right 
we got a Buck Williams, another Larry Bird, Bird card. Otis Thorpe, Mark Bryant, Jimmy Rogers. Oh, I got another David Robinson rookie card. Joe Barry Carroll, Nate McMillan, Rex Chapman, Dick Harper, Sidney Green. Ooh, another Michael Jordan All-Star card. All right, so now we're gonna just do the quick little recap of what we got. All right, so part one recap. Move these cards out of the way. We got Jordan All-Star card. David, Robin, David Robinson rookie card right here. Larry Bird. Carl Malone MVP card. Spud Webb. John Stockton. Michael Jordan All-Star Card, Patrick Ewing All-Star Card, John Stockton All-Star Card, Scottie Pippen, Dennis Rodman, David Robinson Rookie Card, Larry Bird Card again, Manu Bowl, Isaiah Thomas, Robert Parrish, Dennis Rodman, Scottie Pippen Card again, Hakeem Olajuwon card. James Worthy, all-star card. Moses Malone, another Hakeem Olajuwon card. John Stockton, all-star. Isaiah Thomas. Robert Parrish. Scottie Pippen, again. Manu Bow. Spud Webb. Carl Malone, MVP card again. And then, another Scotty Pippen card. So I hope you guys enjoyed part one. I know it was long, um, but tune in for part two coming out um, probably in the next day or two. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe for more, and be on the lookout for part two. Like I said, turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out. Um, I'm TJ with Legend Sports Cards, and thank you for watching.